Hey everybody, welcome back to the Graphic Multiverse. I'm your host, Paul, with a very, 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 very special guest, my good friend Juan. Uh, Juan, who, uh, I'm just gonna lay all the blame on you, man. This is all your fault. I like all of the, the comic books and figures, it's all because of you. Uh, you know, uh, with the 20 years ago, actually, I, I think is, uh, maybe, maybe a little, little more, maybe 20, 21 years, we've, uh, Something like that. been friends. Like that. that is yeah. wild. Uh, Time flies, man. It, Time flies. It does. Uh, it's just funny thinking back to, uh, especially 2000, the end of the year, X-Men came out, um, you know, introducing me to Comicopia, uh, yeah. you know, comics That's and figures, right. and the rest, as they say, is history. But uh, yep. I'm very yeah. excited. Look at to... what it gave you. I know. Look, look I... at where you're at. This it's, is, yeah. I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. It is. It is awesome. It's funny to think back, too, because I remember – uh, like being in high school and I think like talking to you about like just advice, life advice, like in general, uh-huh. you know, like this stuff that a 14, 15 year old would ask, you know, like talking to girls and stuff like that. And who yeah. would have thought yeah. I met my wife at Comicopia where yeah. the, the store that you brought me to. So it's, it's wild. It's still one of my favorite stores that I've, I've ever been to. And I've been to a lot of comic book stores at this point in my life. So, oh yeah. 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 Solid shop. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm glad that it brought you more than just comics. It <laughs> clearly worked out better for you. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of, a uh, lot of, uh, cool stuff happening now, 20 years later. Um, yep. it's kind of fitting for that. Sure. Yeah. I mean, cause X-Men, the movie, you know, really got me into like, I think that was what really sparked my interest in reading comics because, um, like, you know, growing up in Southie and I've said this before on the show that, um, not really, not really a lot of comic book shops available. Yeah, to be honest, I can't think of one in Southie. No, uh, I mean the closest that you might be looking at is like you'd have to go out to like Cambridge or something. Yeah, yeah, and even then, like that's oh, kind yeah. of a trek from Southie. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, the closest I think was like a Flanagan's, which is no longer around, which is like the most Irish sounding supermarket name, Flanagan's. It even had a shamrock for the apostrophe. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, it sounds like it's right up Boston's alley. It yeah. is, yeah. And uh yeah. and I think they had that one spinning comic book rack. I was gonna say it had to be a rack. It had yeah. to be a spinner rack. That's it, if yeah. if it was like a supermarket chain or even like a corner store to bigger supermarket kind of place, yeah. they would have at least a spinner rack. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, a buddy of mine that I used to work with would grew up in, in the coast on uh, Cape Cod. Oh, okay. And he would talk about going to uh, Walden Books and going through the oh. spinner racks at Walden Books. Yeah, buddy. That's, Flashback. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where they didn't put out the books regularly. You know, no. so... Um, yeah. You yeah, just you, had to hope right. that you would get the next issue the next time you went to Walden Which Books. Which I never it, did. It was right. like... I mean, it, it would be like walking into a movie theater watching five minutes of a movie and then going to another movie theater <laughs> and hoping you were going to catch the next five minutes when instead it was 45 minutes later. It's like, oh, I missed the... That's I missed, a great I, analogy. Right? That's, it, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you go in, you're expecting to, to, to watch Die Hard. You watch 20 minutes of it. Then you go to another movie theater and all of a sudden it's Die Hard 2 and you're like, what's going on? Pretty much. What's This is... Pretty this much, is, yeah. yeah. It's basically John McClane getting off of the plane and next thing you know, no shoes, bloody mess. Right. And you're like, how did he was just in the the limo with the teddy bear? Why is Wasn't there he so in much... a building? Yeah. Why is he at an airport again? Yeah, what's happening? yeah, what's, exactly. What's... No, yeah. so it was frustrating as a kid. So when X Men came out, you know, because I always had all of these gaps in my head as far as you know stories, and my knowledge was, you know, thankfully the cartoons, you know, the X Men animated right. series, Batman. Um, so yeah, X Men came out. Um, and that was like, that was like the book I was reading that summer, like books in general. Cause you know, nineties X-Men, so many of them, um, good stuff, man. Yeah. That, that stuff is, is still good stuff. The art is still oh, holds yeah. up. It's still phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, I remember... some of the writing here and there, oh, you know, yeah. but, yeah. uh, the, the stuff by Fabian Nicienza and, uh, you know, even, even some of the Lobdell stuff gets a lot of shit, but. Some of it's fun, man. Oh, some yeah. of it's not great, but some of it's fun. Some of it, you know, it, you know, when you really love something, you can kind of accept <laughs> that when right. it's not so great, it's like, 
uh, you know, you just kind of have to right. love it all for what it is. Um, yeah, and I mean, X Men has you know, thirty plus characters on the roster at any given time. Yeah. So you know, you would get an issue, and you're like, you know what? Maybe that issue sucked, but no bullshit. At least Colossus was in it. You right. know, Colossus was in it for like three pages. He did that one badass thing. Yeah. You know, and it was worth it. Then the next month, maybe you get Archangel in it for a little bit, or yeah. you know, Nightcrawler shows up and does something badass. Like, yeah, that's that's the beauty of X Men. You know, there's there's something for everybody. A little bit of something for everybody. Absolutely. You know, and uh, the great thing about X Men was how much it taught me. Um, it it it. it, it I think. You know, I mean, I you know, Batman was my gateway drug. You know, with the Keaton movie, mm-hmm. um, for sure, and you know, for everybody exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think the next big thing, media wise, for me, you know, was X Men. And I feel like of all the things I was exposed to, like Spider Man and Batman, I think X Men taught me the most how not to be a dick. Yeah, and, yeah, dude, because that comic is all about just people being prejudiced for yeah. no reason. Yeah. And honestly, I don't want to live in that world because. Some of these powers are badass. Like, why yeah. are you being such a dick to a dude who can make any drink instantly cold? You know how much of a hit that would be at a summer barbecue? I know. Like, yo, this beer is kind of lukewarm. He can chill it out. Like, yeah. one of the best scenes in X2, he grabs the beer from Wolverine and, like, blows into it and makes it ice cold and gives it back to him. Like, I mean, yeah. money fantastic totally and you're gonna be a dick to this person right he doesn't even he doesn't even look that different he can turn (laughs) off his ice powers you know right yeah he's passing i understand being a little weird around like i don't know uh feral who can't turn that shit off Mm. or like nightcrawler like yeah you'd be a little jumpy too fine but like other people come on man really yeah like Archangel looks just like anybody else, except his skin is a light blue. Like, he just looks like he drowned. He's fine. Yeah. He's walking around. He's pale. Like, right. Yeah. Right. A little too much fun with the Drano. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. No. I I... But yeah, I agree. X Men was very much about, like, tolerance. Like, that. that's one of those comics that you don't even realize it's teaching you how to be more tolerant of yeah. others. Yeah. Yeah, but it is right. Well, I mean, I remember as a kid, and again, this is like kid logic, you know, um, being like, "Well, I mean, these are people I would want to be friends with." You know, right. I mean, look at all this cool shit yeah. they can do. I don't want to be yeah. like these jerks holding up pro- like protest signs. You know, um, and I and, right. a, and a lot of that, I mean, has like stayed with me like to this day. Like I, you know, recently had a post when you know twenty twenty being the fucking dumpster fire that it is. I remember saying, you know, yeah, a man. lot of you didn't watch X Men. And it shows. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Like it's true. I don't. Yeah, don't, I don't under, under it, but it's just, it, but it's uh, yeah. So that's like such a you know huge positive impact that it's had. So yeah, the movie came out, got into the comics, and right around the time Marvel Legends that toy line started, um, that articulated Spider Man blew my mind. I'm sure, and you, you as yep. well. I mean, because that was. Yep. I mean, Spider-Man could make a fist, but the fact that he could do the caution, open palm, and then do yeah, the, the yeah, flip. he could do the web shooters, or he could look like he was really enjoying, like, you know, seeing Ozzy in concert. You right. Know, it's, yeah. It's or just putting the hands up. The roof was fantastic. on fire. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Spidey was getting down. Yeah. Uh, no, it was great. And and, was... and as great as those were, they still didn't have the bicep articulation. So that was one, you know, just the straight arms. They had the double joints at the elbows. Yeah. And the wrists and the hands to an extent. But, yeah. you know, the bicep was just like straightforward. You know, you'd have them do their arms out and they would just do one right. of these deals. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that line was good. That line was solid. Uh, and we knew greatness was going to be on the horizon when Captain America came out. Oh, I yeah. got that cap. And then immediately I was like, Paul, you got to get this cap. Yeah. Like, I. I told you, and I'm pretty sure you had it like the next day. Oh yeah, or something. Well, like you, it was immediate. Well, you told me. I think the, I remember. You know, I had to get Cap because um, I remember I, I wanted like the like Avengers, like at least one of the right. big three. Like I wanted Iron Man, right. Cap, and yep. Thor. And I remember your sales pitch for Hulk, like how big he was. He's like, like you could just like do brain damage to somebody with this thing. Like you could. It, draw... a, it was a lot of plastic. Yeah, it was heavy. Yeah, and. Uh, uh-huh. 
yeah i mean i remember like finding it might have been in a newberry comics actually and like being blown away by how heavy it was, I was like oh my god and the packaging yeah, yeah. it's like i gotta get this yeah um, and so much plastic in that first series those first couple of series like oh man front and back wrapped in plastic that shit was hard to unbox yeah and i was like okay let me get my toolbox dude i i went with my army knife every time and i would just have to basically cut around the yep. square you know like yeah. there's only one figure from those marvel legends that i still have in in box that i'm never going to unbox and that is my second blade mm. so my first blade got opened up with the quickness but my yeah. second blade he's staying in that box and even still i look at the packaging and i'm like this is excessive <laughs> to say the least yeah this is like um like government level security right like right. Yeah. It's, it's just an action figure guys like, yeah i just i just want to put it on a shelf come on right like, yeah like are, are government secrets in this thing like because right. nuclear codes with dude and yeah and i mean <laughs> At least his, like, you remember, e even in those Marvel Legends, even going back to just the first series, right? Yeah. They came with the figure, ridiculous articulation that you had never seen before up until that point. Like, great, all right, that's awesome, yeah. I'm into it. But also, we're going to include these heavy-ass plastic molded stands <laughs> that you can put and snap together. So some of them weren't that great like i think cap came with like what was a broken tank and like a like, hole in a wall yeah yeah with, like the, with the with the american you know, flag with the flag to yeah make it looked like it was very world war ii-esque like right. i get it yeah. right uh i couldn't i iron man and thor i think came with just walls that had holes in them so you could look like you were like busting through the walls whereas yeah. hulk came with like a, a brick wall set up so he could like break through the bricks yeah like yeah so at least blade made sense he came with this motorcycle you know what i'm saying yeah. like that's what he came with yeah everybody else like there were some that were just shoehorned in there i'm oh. like really like did punisher yeah. really need part of a fire escape to stand on yeah like, no right he didn't no but i did like what was what was it when one of the i think when they did the first appearance spider-man didn't come with like a billboard for the daily bugle for him to chill out on or something like that I think so, because that I, wasn't in the earlier. No, sets. no, like, it that definitely was something wasn't, they yeah. fixed later on. Right, because that one I but, was yeah. I was cool with. I was cool with that one. Like, okay, this makes sense. Right. Yeah. Right. I remember being so excited when they did Daredevil, but I think the first. Well, actually, no. Maybe. Uh, maybe the comic book Daredevil. Maybe it might have been like the, one of the earlier ones, like after Spider Man. I just remember the Ben Affleck one coming out and just being so disappointed with that figure i'm like yeah. um not because it was it was less articulation like it was kind of the back to it the. it was less articulation that the facial sculpt like you could tell that they did like a pretty good render because it had like his jawline i guess but even still like yeah i know exactly what figure you're talking about i remember seeing it and i was like that was one of those marvel legends like toad where i was like i'm totally gonna avoid this thing yeah like the plague however now jokes on us 20 years later toad is one of the most valuable marvel legends if you still have them in the package Oof. yeah i don't have them in the package right. but i have them um right because it was with I, his five pieces of articulation yeah and like the fucking river he comes with yeah <laughs> or sorry creek it's, like it's yeah, yeah it's, it's it's excessive uh, and it's like how yeah. like yeah where was he hanging out in the swamp right like, it, it just but like i mean there's even like it's like the clear plastic river they like have like a snake and i'm like i appreciate the detail but i'm pretty <laughs> sure if i got this as a kid that would just be like uh, okay right over the shoulder right, right. you know maybe and i'll save like, it for a swamp thing john constantine set up but that would be about yeah, it yeah that would be about that's it good good use of that, that yeah <laughs> yeah um, um yeah no it's it is funny to look back i mean and eventually they got smart like instead of kind of cramming a bigger figure into one package you know right. they'll do the build a figure which is it's 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 a brilliant idea i think from a sales it's, standpoint it's a brilliant you, you idea. gotta buy all of these figures I, it, look man capitalism i understand how capitalism works and that's <laughs> fine okay yeah but to a point uh there were a couple of series uh earlier 
with the build a figure like the the Silvestri Sentinel mm-hmm. and Galactus that I was like, I'm getting every figure. I need these I need these two build a figures. Right. I don't remember all the figures in each set to get me all the necessary components, but I'm gonna tell you there was a couple of stinkers in there. Oh at least. yeah. Um, yeah, characters that I would have no business getting otherwise. Right. Uh, you know, so even now going through the Marvel Legends collection, it's like, oh yeah, I have this guy, I have this guy, badass, I have this guy. When did I make this decision? Like it's, <laughs> you know, this goes a low it, point it, in it my life. Often. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Well, it's uh, funny because with some figures, like I'm trying to remember with the Sentinel. Like I remember like Sinister was being one of them and totally yeah, being Sinister's fucking pumped about that. Like right. yeah, that was just like a, that was like just well, how are we gonna get this figure regardless? You know, um, and then. God, I'm trying to think back because I know there were other figures, especially in that at that point, the female characters, the female figures, not great. Woof, like yeah, just I mean, Electro was all right, but I I can't think of a single figure that like looked like you look at like Wasp, um, yeah, like I'm, I'm trying to like see if I can look up who were um like in the 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 Sentinel Build a Figure series. I remember for um. Uh, what was it for Galactus? I remember being really pumped about Bullseye, being in that one, especially when you can yeah, make him do the middle I finger. I remember liking Bullseye. Uh, I remember being into it. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. So the this set was X Factor Cyclops or OG Cyclops, right. the Mystique, mm-hmm. Sinister. Uh, first appearance Spider Man, uh, Angel, Omega Red, Black Panther, and that was it. So, okay, this set was all right, but I remember thinking to myself, like, I, I don't really need a first appearance Spider Man, right. I don't need a Steve Ditko version with the tinier eyes, and you yeah, know, that's okay, great. Um, I remember being annoyed that the the X Factor costume was the Chase variant for Cyclops. Yeah, uh, which they ended up making just a couple of years ago. Again, yeah, uh, an even better version. Oh yeah, I bought it. Uh, well, actually, I bought it, and that's yeah. how I made my custom Angel. I just took that body, you know, mutilated uh, my Hawkman uh, for the so, wings. I don't know. I, it, it, I don't know. I mean, I know I'm a little biased, but I thought it came out pretty good. Yeah, like, no. Like, I'm pretty good. I'm actually, I like it. Yeah, I'm just kind of surprised that, like, like I kind of wish that they were doing some more, um, like, I kind of wish they did another wave of, like, the, like, first generation X-Men. Like, having, like, an angel that is either yeah. pre-apocalypse, you know what I mean? Like, with the regular flesh tone. Right, right. White feather wings. Um, I don't Well, that's what this set had. Yeah. But he had these big, weird, blocky, plastic solid wings yeah. that were you know the hawkman ones that you modded them with much better oh yeah um, the fact that they can fold mm-hmm. that was yeah. the big selling point for me i'm like sorry hawkman but yeah your ultimate destiny has come um carter yeah. hall's been through many of things this is just another yeah. another drop of the ocean for right him. yeah it's fine yeah he'll be all right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the next the next life will be better yeah, we'll um, just come back again. And, right. Um. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure when DC, and I love DC, but I think when they finally get their figure shit together, um, you know, because because with DC, kind of my problem with them is that they just keep pumping out new lines, and it's like, can you just stick to one format? Like that's the yeah. beauty of the new Marvel yeah. Legends. You know, I feel I like agree. like I would start collecting one series, and then you know it was like DC Essentials, and then they stopped doing that, and now they have like another like DC. It was, no, it was like DC Icons, I think. Then yeah, DC, DC Essentials, icons, and which like, I was all about. I was too. The and then, icons looked great. Yeah, and they came with tons of accessories. Mm-hmm. Cyborg was incredible. Yeah, uh, Green Lantern was fantastic. Um, 
shit, man. They they came out with so many accessories that they literally released a box of, of accessories. Just accessories. And I was like, okay with it. And they were money. Yeah, they were, awesome. it, they were worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Like new new arrows, new attachments for yeah. for uh It definitely for felt green like lanterns. You, yeah, it felt like you got your money's worth just because mm-hmm. of the amount of the accessories where it didn't feel for like sure. it didn't feel like a money grab. Like it was like, oh my even god, the, I have to get even this. Even the two packs, like the Superman yeah. Doomsday two pack mm-hmm. is fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Uh the the uh dark side uh and his daughter yeah incredible just the scale of dark side compared to the other heroes and they were to scale man i know like they were to even scale and, and then, then yeah i'm with you now the license is gone uh the license is back under mcfarlane who's Ugh. doing things at a whatever I don't even know what the the order is. I what gotta bot be goes into. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you. I've never been a fan of the McFarland toys. I mean, they're cool plastic Same. statues, but you can't do anything with them. And yeah. also, the Gal Gadot yeah. Wonder Woman, like her legs, they look like hot dogs. Have you seen that shit? They it, they look like fucking hot dogs, and not even cooked hot dogs. Like before oh, you man. boil them in the water, like just gross. it's fucking gross. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, side note, for those you know who haven't seen her, she's a beautiful woman. Why in the yeah. hell would you give her hot dog legs? The fuck is wrong with you? I don't know, but that's also my problem with you know even delving into it. You mentioned some of the the action figures that come out for female characters yeah it seems like they never seemingly get a wonder woman release no accurate uh the the icons series came close um that yeah. wonder woman was pretty good yeah but it was like the new 52 costume or mm-hmm. something like it wasn't you know yeah I don't classic know. yeah or just the the revel tech figures it just came out or they're coming out with the wonder woman that's pretty incredible really okay but, yeah i just uh yeah i just it's like you know it's like yeah just pick one and stick to it like i don't want to have to i don't want to have to buy these figures and then you stop making them i gotta buy them all mm-hmm. over again and it's like i just you know like with marvel and hasbro you know i mean uh i mean I, as far as i'm concerned they're killing it just with like, yeah. just with everything that they're doing. Like, remember with uh, DC? I mean, was it because they were with Mattel at one point, right? They were with Mattel, and, and they those had all were those dope figures, f- and th- those were great figures. Yeah, they had build the figures. Mm-hmm. I got the Atom Smasher build the figure. Uh, right, the dark side. I know. Yeah, see, a buddy of mine uh, had almost all of them, um, even the ones that were released through their collector. It was like Maddie the Collector. Club. Yeah. Right. So there was like a question that they released that was in that style. Uh, I know some members of the JSA were released in that style. Midnight, uh, Flash, uh, and it's it's a shame because um, those, those are, are some good of the figures. first figures that my son learned to play with. Yeah. Drake has all those figures. And yeah. He knows who all those characters are. It's a shame because for me that was up there with Marvel Legends. I mean, it still is for me in a lot of ways. I think because of the you know one the consistency. You know, I I, I you know like the the sculpting. Yeah. You know, I yeah. mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, there were some figures that weren't perfect, but I mean, I was I was a dedicated like you know if there was a build a figure I wanted, I didn't mind buying the wave for for characters I wasn't like that wild about, but they were still well right. made. You know, like oh I I right. can do something totally. with this. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's yeah now you have uh, i don't know something about mcfarland toys it just looks gross like i don't yeah, know I mean, I like don't... something about it looking at the figures like that shit triggers my spidey sense it's like ugh, i don't know what it is well they're they're doing multiple things at once so they're they're trying to release figures based on current comics they're also yeah. releasing figures based on justice league unlimited mm-hmm. and they're releasing figures that are, I guess, not from new comics, but popular. So, like, the Nightwing, the Batgirl. Right. Uh, and then they're, you know, at the same time, like, I don't need the Batman who laughs. Like, I don't need that figure. Right. I, I, don't, I don't need Batman and Superman in their super-duper armor that right. they just wore recently. Yeah. Like, I don't know what choices are being made, but they're not good choices. Um and it as a, as a collector it, it, and a fan uh it just makes me roll my eyes like i walk down the aisle and i know i'm not going to look at any of these figures 
which makes me sad. Yeah, or if you're gonna look, it's gonna uh, be with a lot of judgment. Right, right. It's gonna it's gonna be with uh, my pinky out. Yeah, and, you know <laughs> the monocle. Just exactly adjusting the monocle, my smoking pipe somewhere in the background. Yeah, you know, just yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, well, I mean, we've I don't know, I feel like we've kind of we've earned that right. I think to yeah. be you know, and you know, I mean, yeah, it's like at this point, you know what you like, you, you like you know what you want. Mm-hmm. from a from a mm-hmm. certain product and if it doesn't have it then it's like well i mean uh, and for me like for Mar- for mcfarland it's not like okay it doesn't have these joints but does it look good and it's like no like it right. doesn't even like if you like if, if i'm gonna sacrifice one thing then you gotta really deliver on the other like I'll, I'll be honest with you i don't really even need the figure to look good like truth be told I, it could be a faceless blob but mm-hmm. if it has the articulation and posability of a Spider-Man, I could work with that. Right. Like, you know, it's about telling stories with these figures. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I don't have a lot of free time in my life, as, as you know, as you know. Yeah, dad of uh, two. Dad of two, married and, and working full time. Yeah. My wife works full time. We're trying to raise these kids, you know, and it's what little time I do have, you know, I want to be able to pose a couple of figures and just be able to sit on my couch and look on a shelf and see them up there and have a little scene in my head. Right. So it looks like, you know, Shang-Chi is bringing it to a couple of ninjas. You right. Know? I don't, I don't want it to look like, you know, I just have statue, 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 statue. Of that, and that's great for some people. Yeah. And that's fine. Right. But not for me. No. Uh, I get these figures because I want to, yeah. I want to emulate the same panels that I've read, the same images that are that are the still shots that are burned into my mind. I want to do with action figures. Right. That's why Spider Man, that can you know, pose look like he's you know doing flips and upside down and and handstands or, or even I could, you know I could put him on the edge of a shelf. And it looks like he's just sitting there looking out over the city, a.k.a., you know, the living room. Right. And it looks like he's doing Spider-Man shit, you know? Yeah. Like, that's what I want to see. Right. Um, you know, if, if I get a Build-A-Figure and I get a Sentinel and I put him on a desk, I want to have, like, five X-Men figures hanging on him looking like they're trying to tear it apart. That's what I got that Sentinel for. Right. That's what I got those X Men for. Like, yeah. Right. Exactly. You know, yeah. It, so. Yeah. It's like you know, it, it, it's it's a really kind of cool way to kind of make like the characters and stories you love tactile. Whereas uh-huh, not just on sure. page, it just feels like you're a part of it. Um, and uh, was it that Sentinel wave? What was that? Two thousand five, I think. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. It was like it was series ten of Marvel Legends, and I say series ten. In parentheses, parentheses, because by that point they were releasing two or three lines a year, right? So, Legends had only started maybe like two thousand, mm-hmm. right around there, like yeah. the end of two thousand, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. Two thousand one, yeah. So you know they had that first wave that was a success, then they started releasing more waves. I know yeah. the future waves had like multiple Spider Mans in it, and right? There was one wave that had like four different Spideys in it. Yeah, because um, you got the... and I got all of those. Oh yeah, same. by the way, same. Yeah, yeah. You no, had to. I, yeah. I needed the Scarlet Spider. I needed the Spider Man twenty ninety nine. I needed the symbiote costume. Like, well, yeah, that's a given. Yeah. I mean, it's like, yeah, those are like touchstones, um, which is kind of the great thing about Spider Man because you have that classic suit that will always be relevant, and then uh-huh. you kind of also have those. Again, those touchstones where you're like, you know, it, you know, might even be relevant to the current story or whatever the current run, but because it's so classic and iconic, it's you, right. can, you can kind of justify right. the, the the purchase. Yeah, and they I were mean, doing... that Secret Wars cover is forever burned into everybody's mind. Oh with yeah, Spidey, you know, standing right on the front of the cover, his arms out, looking at the suit that is on him now. You know, you know, I was hoping, I knew it wasn't going to happen, but a part of me was hoping that with in the MCU with like Spider Man going off world. That he was gonna come back with something. I know that's like super fan servicey, but I mean how often does your Spider Man, you know, in the movies go to space? I was like, well I mean if this was gonna happen. Give it time. Give yeah. it time. You know that they're you know, with the unexpected success of Venom, 
you know Very that unexpected. they're 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 going to be expanding that universe. Yeah. And Sony and Marvel is part of the uh, the ongoing partnership. Spider Man gets to play in the MCU, but they're also going to take Spider Man and have him mingle with Venom. Right. So I wouldn't be surprised if you know, say for example, down the road, Venom Three is like Maximum Carnage, mm. and you got Tom Holland showing up, going like, "What the hell is going on?" Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> um, and it would make for a fun movie because, yeah, well, yeah, that Venom movie is it's super surprising, entertaining. It's it, way better than it should. It's be. like, surprising, especially, talk. and I know I've said this before, but I feel like it's it bears repeating. Tom Hardy just basically doing an impression of the 90s cartoon. Yeah. Like, just, it's yeah. hilarious. And it works. It's pretty good. It's it like, works. When I saw the yeah. trailer, like, everybody's got problems. It'll be like the running joke <laughs> on our show and being like, wow, really? Like, I remember, like, and then rewatching the Spider Man cartoon and hearing the Eddie Brock character and be like, uh-huh. wow. Yeah, Tom Hardy was like, no, <laughs> this is it. I got it. I got the voice. I don't need any other source material. I mean, there's a legit point where he's Hell like, yeah. I think in the cartoon, he's like, everybody's got problems. You know, in Spider-Man, <laughs> he took my apartment, my health. And it's like, damn. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You know, that's somebody somebody good. should do the Tom Hardy audio and put it on the cartoon. Oh, that's great. And just see that's what happens. Awesome. Um, yeah. But yeah, but no, but I, I think that would be really, really cool if they kind of, you know, at some point, in, in, you know, incorporate that down the line. Um, and... I got it, and I'm thinking of all the other great uh, build of figures that were associated with Marvel because there was like the giant apocalypse. Um, yes, Modoc. Yes, which I didn't get. Uh, I have most. He's of Modoc. huge. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's it's weird to to think about that out loud, but yeah. Uh, yeah. So many build of figs that I almost have. Like, yeah. Almost like they're missing an arm, right? Or a leg or. It's kind of fun though. Yeah. I, I think to kind of have those um, those missing links, so to speak. Like so, when they when they finally are built, like you you almost kind of feel like you have this Indiana Jones level accomplishment. Like I have been trying to build this thing since like two thousand seven. I'll give you that. And it's like yeah. you know, it's like like you know, uh, like some of the figures, like you know, like for Terax, like I'm supposed, I'm supposed to get yeah. the final piece tomorrow, and I feel like. I don't know, like, when I, like, snap it in, like, I want the earth to shake, you know? You're gonna, like, you're gonna get an achievement unlocked. Right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just see, like, a bunch, you know, my stats and points going up. Um, yeah, and I think, um, and, you know, what's interesting with Hasbro, what they're doing now, is they're, they're kind of slightly changing tactics, where they're still doing the Build-A-Figures, but they're still, but then they're releasing, or re-releasing, I should say, the Build-A-Figures on their own like i know they're re-releasing kingpin who was a build a figure uh last year um right they're they re-released venom as a build a figure um right right so kind of interesting that um and from what i understand from watching their live streams you know the the um that they have on fridays that that they're still going to be doing like build a figures but uh but also still kind of planning on doing Again, capitalism, you know, because when they re-release right. the figures, at least it's not re-release. Like either it's a new costume. It's a new packaging. Yeah, there's or new accessories. It's a new thing, right, right, right. So like the Kingpin they're coming out with has like a beat up face right. to go with his his non beat up face, which a... is pretty pretty money. Well, like, that's yeah, cool. I mean, yeah, you can have a great scene between him and Daredevil, mm-hmm. you know, or, or Spider Man, sure. or both. I love that he it's Kingpin with the purple pants and. The ascot yep. and the orange, mm-hmm. the orange vest. Um, you know, and even with the venom, because the build a figure venom was like kind of like the ultimate venom, and uh, right. and at least when they released it, it was like the classic, classic venom costume. So, yeah, 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 for sure. Um, and, That's true. Yeah. So, um, you know, this is somebody from somebody who was you know planning on getting both because you know, right. like I mean, the the regular venom figure was cool, but like you know, in my mind, venom is like a a powerhouse yeah you know? he should be he should be massive that's one thing about these early marvel legend figures versus the ones that they have now the scale wasn't super accurate right they were good yeah they were great but like i think the first marvel legend wolverine that they released like scale wise dudes like six two yeah compared to some of the later wolverines that Where are like he's... legit short right and you know yeah. it's closer like closer to what he is in the books right it's like yeah i get you're going off a of hugh jackman 
who's you know right nine two six one six two <laughs> yeah he's, he's a tall dude yeah um uh, but uh um the thing i'm really looking forward to and speaking of tall and things kind of getting re-released um or not even released in this case i mean the the big thing that they dropped was the new sentinel that's coming yep. out it was at 26 inches um on the one hand a lot of mixed feelings and i know you have i don't even know i don't even know if your feelings are mixed i think i think it's pretty Man, they're, it's they're pretty just, they're pretty annoyed <laughs> they're pretty annoyed as yeah as, <laughs> look look i have i have some some expendable uh resources right i ha- i have the occasional like yeah you know what this wave of figures is coming out i can buy this this wave right. that's cool i i can you know, I can splurge here and get uh, a couple of these generics, some some Hydra or some AIM guys. Like, you know, I can I can get a couple of these and bolster, you know, the forces, right? But man, three fifty a pop. Yeah. And they're two scale, like accurate looking Sentinels. Come on, who? who what X Men comic? Has there ever just been one sentinel attacking the mansion? Right. It just doesn't doesn't happen. Yeah. Okay. E- even right off the top of my head, astonishing. Pretty sure that double page spread had three sentinels on it, and Cyclops yeah. blasts the first one into oblivion. But right. there's still two other sentinels. Yeah. So, you mean to tell me, over a thousand dollars? If I want to recreate that scene, yeah. over a thousand dollars, yeah, just to start. That's not counting any tax, right? That's not counting shipping. I, no, the shipping better be free. I'm paying over a thousand dollars. You're you're bringing that shit to me on some silk pillows, <laughs> uh, so silver platter. I'm not paying for shipping, but that's not counting taxes. So let's just say generously, gener, eleven. No, we'll say yeah, eleven, eleven fifty. Eleven fifty right. for three sentinels and tax to try to recreate that scene. No, man. No. no, I can't do that. I can't justify that. I can't, I can't either. I that's, I want to. I want to live in a world where I could, where that that would just be a drop in the bucket. But that's dude, not. Dude, that's uh, three PS fours. Yeah. I can't. I, I could barely. When I got the PS four, it was having trouble justifying it. But I was like, <laughs> no. There's God of War, there's Spider-Man, there's Long term, the games, games you don't even know about there's, that are coming out. Yeah, there's, look, this will be a good purchase. It plays Blu-rays, it yeah. does all these things, you know, but I got it. And it's, it's, it, it's it, it, certainly it, paid it back, but. Sure. <sighs> yeah, no, I know. I, when I, so I have been following this story for a while now because uh, as at different Comic Cons and Toy Cons, they were kind of dropping hints. I think the first hint that they did might have been back in like, I think late last year, early this year, where it had a picture of Jubilee, and it had like a Target acquired like all of this like digital overlay, you know, and it's like, oh, what's yeah. this gonna be? And it's like, well, it's got to be a Sentinel because who else does you know the Target thing? But it was it's enough to, past. yeah, like yeah. it was enough to kind of get your excitement up, you know. And then you had. Um, I think the next one they did was when they teased, like, a leg, and it was massive. And I'm thinking, like, well, is this going to be, like, a -a Build-A-Figure? But even the leg alone, like, is, like, wave one going to be the leg? And then the next wave would be the other leg? You know what I mean? Which I would have still probably would have bought. Would have been kind of funny. It would have been. This is the the left leg wave, the right leg wave. Then there torso. would have been a torso wave. Yep. Yeah. Then the like, arms. Which figure would have come with the nuts? Which figure <laughs> would have come right. with the face? Which yeah. It would have not made any sense, the distribution of said wave. Well, but... I mean, I, I can see the milking it where it's like, okay, well, you know, it's just like like pieces. So you have like the back of the head that comes with one figure, the side of the oh, figure, the or the head, side of the head the with the other. Yeah, like, you know, I can... Oh. Kind of like Modoc, yeah, no. you know. If you, the Modoc, if you think about it, it's just a it's just a big head with arms and legs. So why not? Um, so that's a good example. Yeah. yeah, I mean, on the one hand, I mean, because when I first when they announced it, I was like, oh my god, this is awesome! It's so great. And I remember like, because I was watching the live stream and, and they didn't have the, um, the uh, they didn't have the price yet. And somebody I saw on the comment like on the live stream like three fifty. I'm like, oh fucking way. 350 is a lot. And then when I went to the web page and I saw the price and I was like, my – I dude, the going from the high to the low, 
in like a millisecond hurt like i was like wow i'm not gonna get this thing like that sucks like i cannot believe like you know i'm not gonna get it which look man yeah i mean 250 i can understand 200 for sure you know i'm there maybe maybe though it's it's a lot for a figure i was expecting Um, like maybe like 150 like 170 something like that i thought but maybe, maybe that's just me living in a living in a dream world you know. Well, with the tiered system that they have now, they're trying to, you know, milk as much as they can, uh, get as many people interested and, and confirm to be getting it so they can keep adding stuff. Uh, and we kind of touched on this when we, I first found out the price and, and we were talking about it. But it's like, you got to give me more for that price. Uh, you can't. OK, you, you want to include Bastion, an exclusive Bastion figure. That's awesome. Yeah. That that works for me as a fan. Uh, you want to give me three different heads and a battle damaged hand? Okay, cool. I'm I'm into it. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, you the... want to give me a female sentinel I've never heard of before? <laughs> She's just now, an extra from I'm the starting. zero tolerance storyline. Yeah. Now I'm just trying to wonder, like, what are you guys doing? Like, you know, if you're giving me a master mold head, does that mean that the chest drops down and Which, there's like sentinel inside of it? That would have been cool. I a mean, sentinel in process of being made. You want to give me a sentinel that's kind of almost ready for the assembly line? Uh, fine. You know, my suggestion to you was drop it down and give me a Nimrod figure. Yeah. Have Nimrod come out of his chest. And then maybe, maybe I'm into it. You know, and give me a, a full, like a, a 10 inch Nimrod, you know, yeah. as big as a Hulk is. You know, right. Uh, to, to be to be closer to scale. Because, I mean, Nimrod's bigger than, say, like Colossus. Yeah. And the last Colossus release that I think came out puts him closer to like seven feet or seven and a half feet. Yeah, that sounds about right. What he is in the comics. Yeah. Um. So you know do do one of those right but don't just now now it just seems like you guys are making stuff up the th- yeah and even the third tier was disappointing because when it when it hit the first tier and it was the master mold head i was like oh like that got me really excited because the bastion right. i mean that was like out the gate that like that right, like right. that he was coming with it so when i saw the master mold i was like fuck like they're coming out with this as the first tier like damn that set the bar pretty high and then when they hit the second tier, battle damage. I'm like, okay, I mean, that's cool. Um, you know, having a battle damage sentinel, I mean, I, I get it. And then when the right. third tier was just like this unknown female sentinel. I was like, wow, you guys know how to save the best for last, huh? Like, yeah. really? Like, that I mean, That was it? How do you go with two heads? You're, you're a sentinel, right? You hunt mutants. Why don't you give me a mutant that's never been made before, that will never be popular enough to get her own figure made? Yeah. So maybe you include like I don't know, say a Destiny figure. Yeah. Oh, Destiny would be cool. You know I would totally buy like, a Destiny figure. But that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. it's it's you would buy a Destiny right. figure. I would buy a Destiny figure. But a lot of people. If you're putting out a figure in a line, it's just going to be one of the Serpent Society. When you go to like a Walmart, it's just going to be you know the right. figure that's ten ten figures deep on the yeah. shelf. The peg warmer. And they have no other no other figures from the line. So, yeah, give us a mutant that we've never had before. Right. Uh, you know, and you, and this is, you guys can choose from literally hundreds of stories with Sentinels in them to decide this. Yeah. You know, it's not hard. Uh, you know, how many characters have Sentinels killed? You could pick any of those characters and put them in there from the Rolodex. Yeah. And have them come with the Sentinel figure. Right. You know, give me something on the Sentinel where it can, you know, the back opens up and you can fucking put an action figure in there. Yeah. You know, cage up a mutant or something. You right. Know, like, yeah, something. like a storage unit when you capture the mutant. Just, right. Yeah. Yeah. Something, or, something. or even, like, I don't know, like more weapons. Like, if you kind of, like, I don't know, do like a weaponized arm. Even uh-huh. even it was even in the comics. Like if this was like, oh, this wave is like a you know a giant. You can pose a giant missile coming out of his forearm. I'd be like, okay, right. I mean, yeah, you know, the exactly. Sentinel. I mean, I, I feel like there are so many unexplored operations that that system could have. Like right. you could make shit up, I mean, and that would be for it. You, you could you could give us a like jet a jetpack that comes a out, blast, a bl- uh, energy blast from the hand. Attach it to 
the you know the palm of the hand it snaps in and even better on the energy blast have some type of you know if it's molded plastic have some type of molds cut out in the plastic that you could put a figure in there that would be dope and it looks like you're blasting the figure i mean i know man this this writes itself i know i do i know rocket science dude i know it's like an action figure yeah like what are you guys doing like yeah you know i'm look i'm glad that you decided to make this giant sentinel but like if you're gonna do this and you're gonna ask people for a 350 and fifty dollar investment and this is just like people that are gonna barely be able to get one i've been reading these comics for over 30 years yeah. and like i just told you i would comfortably want three and i'm never gonna get three yeah you know you got people that that are gonna spend money on this you better you better be giving them their money's worth you know well you know what kills me yeah what kills me too is you know that some of these people who can afford it they're gonna buy it and they're gonna resell it on ebay so so here's like 500 a pop if not more here's a true story man so that look we we live in austin texas and we've been going to conventions here for as long as as i can remember being here i've been trying to go to a convention once a year so I'm going to say at least the last decade, every convention I've gone to, whether it's here or in Dallas, uh, there's always one vendor, this one dude who has pretty much every Marvel legend you could want, shit that's been released, uh, shit that has been short carded, uh, chase figures, variations of figures with different paint jobs, shit, some shit you've never seen before. You didn't even know it was I made. Just, right. And not just Marvel Legends. Uh, he has the same deal for those DC figures that we were talking about earlier. Right. Those exclusive, that's how I know the JSA figures came out under the, the collector's line. Uh, because I've seen them there right. at, at his stand. So every convention for the past decade, dude has been there. I've had one out of the decade i've had one positive interaction with him in that decade and it was when i traded some of my comics in exchange for some figures i was working at the comic book store these right. were comics that i got at cost right but uh you know they were worth money yeah uh on on the market so i was able to trade some new avengers comics that had some different covers for a couple of figures that I'm still pretty happy about. I yeah. got a comic accurate Falcon out of it. Uh, that Falcon Marvel Legend, because if you remember, one had the 70s costume. Yep. That was the mass release one. The modern costume was the short carded one. So that's the one I have. That's um, cool. Right. Uh, I was able to get Dennis Vell out of it, uh, which I had been searching for up until that point for years. Right. But the dude. Otherwise, Jackass. these figures are twenty dollars. Yeah, but uh, the dude starts these figures at forty to fifty per single figure. So to to go to look, it's like, oh, these figures are awesome, and then you're immediately like, oh, this is gonna cost, this is gonna cost my firstborn's first semester in college. Yeah, fuck to get that. this figure, it shouldn't uh, be like, I so, yeah so. While we're talking about it, I just know the next time I'm going to go to one of these conventions, that motherfucker is going to have at least one Sentinel out for display, still in the box, has labs. I know it's 350. You know it's 350. That motherfucker knows it's 350. He's going to charge double to start with. Oh, uh, minimum. yeah, minimum. Minimum. The three pack of Gene. Cyclops and Logan the last time I saw it, the last time I was at a convention before our 2020 decided to just be terrible yeah uh when I saw it there I was like oh that's it's awesome now I know that's a $60 box set $70 box set depending on where you get it right 110 Hundred and ten is when you, he started. That's bid bullshit. I'm not kidding. That's bull. It's not even. It's not even rare. Like you could go on it's... the GameStop website. Also, are you still looking for that 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 uh, that three pack? 
Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I'm I'm looking for a ton of stuff all the time. Well, let me know because I I have one I can give you. I'll take it. I will say no. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this That's... is the benefit. Of, I, 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 this is what I do. People buy comics, buy toys. I buy friendships. So, <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah. uh, no friendship bot, man. Uh, it's, it's yeah. No. Cause you, I, you know, well, you know what? Cause I'm, I'm a nut and I wonder why I'm, you know, struggling for cash. Uh, is that I, you know, cause I know what it's like when you see something and you're like, oh, I'll get it next time. And then it's years and you never see the fucking thing again. Uh, and so sometimes I kind of make it a point where like I'm gonna pre-order this from a couple of different places because because I've had orders fall through for me you know so for me it's like right. I like having a backup plan and but sometimes I can make it so that I can kind of cancel one before another goes through like if I find that this is processed great I'll cancel the others sometimes it's right. all at once and it's like okay well now I get some doubles right. so I have a, I have a right. double of that you can have devastating yeah. All right, awesome. Because I know because the hunt, and I mentioned this once in a video that I did years ago, when it when they were doing the Warlock wave, and I could not find Colossus or Cyclops. I could, there was a shit ton of Dazzlers, shit ton of Shatter Stars, and a shit ton of Broken Hearts because I just yeah. could not find, and it was driving me crazy because, you know, I'm going to like Walgreens. And right. you know, and like Target, these are twenty dollar figures. I'm like on eBay, it's like seventy, eighty. I'm like, right. fuck you. Because here's the thing, right? I mean, it's one thing to be a, a grown adult working full time. You know, you're budgeting for this, but can you imagine being a kid who like just like has his allowance money and just wants that one figure? Like that sucks. Mm-hmm. Like I think of like Drake a few years down the road. Like I can't mm-hmm. find this figure. Then somebody legitimately like the comic book guy like oh, i get your figure mm-hmm. yeah and like trying yeah. to charge some Except some poor kid much. yeah right. it's like yeah, you, yeah, it's yeah. like you know yeah. that's and and that's why when i have the opportunity to help a fellow collector like i like i, I appreciate it, it man thanks dude i mean seriously because yeah. i know what it's like you're like wow i wasted my entire day off this money this amount on gas for false leads like even calling right. to stores do you have the cyclops and then you get there like oh yeah i uh, uh i called earlier talked to ben he's gonna hold his figure for me oh yeah here you go okay um this is robocop i get the confusion because <laughs> the visor's a little similar but he's part cop part cyborg okay right. <laughs> like... this is a statue <laughs> yeah. this is a statue sir. yeah this is a little this is this is attached to a lollipop it also says and, and robocop on the yeah, package like... Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I I've walked that path, and I, I mean, um, that's why like when I when I know people are looking for stuff, and I find something that I don't need, like, hey, do you still need this? Because I got it in my hand. I'll get it for you. You can hit me up later, because, I mean, it's cool that there's like a community of collectors out there. Like, uh, like on Reddit, there's like a Marvel Legends subreddit, and I've like made some really nice uh, acquaintances with like people who live in my state who will say, hey, I heard that. You know, there is a spotting out in Westminster, which might mean in a couple of weeks it's going to come to this part of the state. Or, you know, hey, if I see a double, I'll hold right. it for you. Give me your address. I'll mail it. Like, that's how I got my Alfred. Because I couldn't find the DC Multiverse Alfred, and I really wanted that Alfred figure. And, and somebody who hooked me up was like, you know, yeah, just PayPal me. I'll mail it to you. And it's like, it's cool that that's, that, that that is out there, but I feel like it right. shouldn't have to be like that, where it be. has to yes. be like a fucking it's, group Mission Impossible level right. effort. No, look, look, man. I I like playing with these action figures. Oh, yeah. Okay, but it's it's not the type of thing like uh, it, I like hunting for this. I like looking for a figure. I enjoy feeling that that thrill oh, of the, the hunt. The, oh so yeah, to speak, when you find the it, rush of finding yeah. something. But uh, man, that's not. I don't want to make it like this. Isn't a scavenger hunt. Well, that's like, what I feel it's like it's not a, you know, like, like, I mean, when you find the figure, I agree. It is like a thrill. It's like, it's like a rush and it's great yeah, because yeah. everything is so fucking shitty right now that if I can have a moment where I'm like, this is great. I feel good. Um, yeah. but when you've been going on like weeks and months and just hitting the drop, like a, a brick wall, you know, that's when I'm like, okay, I need help. I'm willing to forsake the rush because now 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 my frustrations are outweighing the thrill of success like even if i find it i would be like i mean yeah i got it but i feel like it shouldn't have taken this much effort 
to you know especially where like you know you like you're setting up contacts you know like hey uh i'm gonna give you a 50 uh you know if you see this figure slide your way but it's, i mean i'm not saying i've done right, that right but right you know like i mean but it, it 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 shouldn't feel salacious no i i'm with you it, i mean it just it these are action figures right you know? like just... a, a girl i work with her boyfriend works at um walgreens and when i heard that dude this is this is how sad i am I'm in the break room at my work, right? And this girl was talking to one of her other girlfriends, like, "Oh yeah, well, you know, um, Alex, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's got a shift at Walgreens this weekend." And I was like, uh, "Pardon me, ladies, uh, I hate to interrupt uh, your meal here. Uh, couldn't uh, overhear saying that your uh, your partner, Alex, was it uh, working at a Walgreens? Yeah, what's uh, what's that like? Because uh, I'm looking for some stuff, and uh, if you could help me out, that'd be great." He's like, "Oh my god, yeah, he actually one of his things is the toy aisle. Really, the toy, the wow. toy aisle, huh? Wow. Huh? Okay, dude, dude like that's... that's how I got three of the stuff for cuckoos because I couldn't find that shit that's anywhere. And fantastic. when it came in, he hooked me up, and she, dude, it was so crazy. I'm like working in like an office building, you know, like cubicles and uh-huh. shit, and like her being like, "Hey, I got that thing. <laughs> okay, here's your cash." And it's like three, like it's crazy that i had to yeah. do that i had yeah. to like that's <laughs> like subconsciously i hear walgreens i'm like what that's, i'm sorry that's that's how i would get pot in high school like that's <laughs> that's yeah. it, those were very similar conversations like pretty sure i'd had that conversation uh with the co-worker back at the ica uh back in the day where she was like hey i got that thing uh, after work, I was like, okay, yeah, after work, I'll grab that thing. Yeah. Thanks for uh, getting that secured. Right. And then, yeah, and then I would go <laughs> home and smoke I had... some pot and eat a sandwich, and it was great. I had a buddy I used to work with. His code for uh, weed was cereal. I think because oh, of, uh, you know, because, <laughs> you know, hey, I got a bowl <laughs> of cereal. Uh, I, got, oh, I, got, I got that Captain Crunch. You oh, like dude. the Lucky Charms, dude? dude the Lucky that's Charms fantastic. is great right now. Uh, the guy, that's, the guy gives me the Lucky great. Charms. Yeah, the Lucky Look, Charms are great this time of the year. And and okay, so there's this show that Diana and I are always quoting. It's called The Life and Times of Tim. It ran for three seasons on HBO. Yeah. Uh, the animation style is crap on purpose, and it works for the charm of the show. Okay. But there's this one episode in the second season that we probably watched more than any other single episode because it's like 22 minutes of comedy perfection the the two the two stories that are in it and one of the stories tim's best friend is trying to get some weed from his from his dealer and his dealer is also uh so the the code word he has with his dealers tickets like yeah let me get some tickets and his dealer's like all right cool so like he shows up and he's like, here you go, here are your tickets for the show. I'm so glad you guys are coming. And he's like, wait, what are you talking about? Tickets for the show? And he's like, oh yeah, you know, I'm an actor. And my my improv group, we we got a play that we're we're doing. It's our first production. We're really excited. You said you wanted some tickets. And then he's like, no, I wanted tickets because that's our code word for pot, the code word that we've been using for the past ten years. And then. He was like, oh, that's my bad. I can see the confusion. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And then the main character, Tim, just chimes in and he's like, I'm thinking you guys need to get a different code word for uh, for your pot here because this is a real big misunderstanding. Anyway, it just it just made me think of no, that. It's, and, yeah. yeah. Yeah, thankfully we get uh, – yeah, I think it, it was actually a point where I think I had somebody actually say, why do you guys talk about cereal a lot? And it's like, well, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of good cereal, a lot of good options. It's yeah, I mean, you've been down the cereal aisle. There's at least fifty yeah. different choices. Do you want he- Do you want like healthy brand, or you know, or do you want you know Lucky Charms? Right. You know, choose exactly. your adventure. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, um, that's that's hilarious. Uh, but yeah, uh, so yeah, hunting for figures shouldn't be that shouldn't be in, de- in depth, like. Um, I mean, it's, yeah, 
Like, I, I, like it should be fun. Like, I want to have a good time, you know what I mean? Because the, the hunt can be just as, as enjoyable as having the figure. And, but, you know, those moments when, okay, that deal went through, that girl hooked me up, and it's like, God, mm-hmm. I put a lot of fucking effort into this, and I don't know yeah. if it was worth it. Now that I have it, it's like... Well, your, your, X-Men, your X-Men set is something to behold, you know? You yeah. have an awful lot of the roster. I so do. I mean, there's figures uh, that now I just I like want to get made. Like I want a new Banshee. Like I want a new Long yes. Shot. Um, but a part of I think kind of goes back to what we were saying earlier at the start of the episode was that um, I, you know, much like not being able to get like the full story arc of a comic, I never really kind of had a complete team because you know i mean, right. I mean right. you know i mean your, your your parents are on a budget they don't understand why you need to have this full roster of a team it's like oh well, why can't batman join the x-men like are you high mom why right. would that ba- first Come of on. all dc I mean, he's not yeah. a mutant like what yeah. are you I mean, thinking look, best case scenario he's worked with logan at some point but right. aside from that he knows no other x-men get yeah. out of here right that, all right yeah uh yeah no i agree i agree it's there's a part of me that kind of feels like that it's i'm like you know like i hear people big man i wish we had these when we were kids i'm like i don't i'm benefiting benefiting from it now yeah than i would have you know i would have i mean i would have had like my my like my avengers lineup would be superman uh duke from gi joe yeah. Uh, you know, uh, a T Rex from Jurassic Park. Like, you know, you'd have to just mix and match and just hey, make look, do. My my first base for my my figures and my team, which was a combination of Justice League and X Men figures, uh, was the Ninja Turtle sewer. Well, that place works. That I got when I was a kid. Yeah. So that ha- yeah. you know, yeah. And, and I mean, that, you could have the X Men, you know, the X Men looking for some Morlocks in the sewer, and, and it was, it, you know, which Wolverine did I did I use the the astronaut Wolverine, of course, <laughs> from, right. from that line. I remember uh, that. It's just like with why the retractable can't I? Claws, yeah, like uh, I that, that you snapped into place uh, under his arms. Yeah, I remember uh, thinking like, can we just make the regular figures? Because I remember having like uh-huh. the '90s, what was it, Stealth Wolverine with the goggles and the breathing thing that would just flip open yeah. and then yeah. i remember even as a kid being like this is not practical because he just flips uh-uh. it to the side i mean he's gonna knock it into shit it's gonna make noise <laughs> like why is it in his shoulder why can't yeah. it be like a you know like a yeah. yeah why can't it go over his head because it can't mess with his hair right not, none of those not all all the wolverines have the pristine ridiculous priorities hair, hair uh, than mission <laughs> um so yeah no I, I actually remember as a kid i i think and i actually look back on this Maybe it's nostalgia, but there's definitely some fondness because I remember a storyline that I had as a kid was that Luke Skywalker and his X-Wing uh, damaged uh, crash lands on Earth through a wormhole. That's how he's able to come into present-day Earth. Um, attached to his ship is a xenomorph egg sac. Um, that when he crash lands, the trauma causes the egg to hatch, runs off, doesn't get Luke. Unbeknownst to Luke, he has crash landed in Jurassic Park, and the Justice League comes to investigate. Wow, that was That's like good. <laughs> that was my pretty so, well done. Yeah, so you know, because now they had the aliens like, oh, there's like a bull alien and a gorilla alien. That was my like, oh, it got onto one of the other dino beings and. Now it's Luke and the Justice League. Darth That's Vader shows funny. up. That's great. Because, you know, he's like, I still want to talk to you about these dad issues we have. <laughs> like, it's just... Of course. Yeah. Of course, because that's, that's the appropriate time to flash right. out father and son shit. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, yeah. So the, present day. Right. Earth. Jurassic yeah, Park. Exactly. Yeah, so that's on, where you want to yeah. talk about these exactly. things. So on the one, So on the one hand, I appreciate what it did to help nurture my creativity like i had to think sure. about like i like i think in my mind i was like well i can't just not play with these figures i'm sitting on right. the side it's like you a waste make it work. but i'm not going right. to reassign their identity like i'm not going to be like oh look it's nick fury when i clearly know it's you know it's on solo like so right you know like i, I right, gotta right. yeah make you, do you would use you your imagine up, imagination up until a point yeah right and and, and and it had to be logical like you know like 
You yeah, know? it's got to make sense. Otherwise, right. what the fuck are you doing? Right. You, you're just wasting everybody's time. Yeah, like, you know, so going you, you back to... You want to play with these figures, but you yeah. don't want to sound like an idiot. Right. So Even you, if you're you by yourself. You talking about. Like, yeah, right. you have to honor yourself. So, right. you know, when my parents say, well, why can't Batman be, be an X-Man? I'm like, are you high? <laughs> Break down the logic behind <laughs> that. You went to college, huh? Wow. Bruce, can't wait. Bruce Wayne is not a metahuman. Yeah. Okay. Do you know how stupid you sound right now? Yeah. <laughs> Mom. Yeah. This is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Like, this is. Yeah, you might no. want to call the university because you need a <laughs> refund because what the fuck? What a waste of time and money that was. Are you sure that says diploma and yeah. not dumb diploma? Yeah. Like, <laughs> let's, let's, let's think about what we're right. saying before we talk. But yeah, I think no, even then, you. though, and I think if I had to, I think Kid Logic would have been like, okay, well, maybe, you know, uh, Bruce Wayne and Xavier, they're both rich. They got their circles. They move in. One learns about the other. Like, I, I would have tried. I would have tried their to make it. Their maybe. Yeah. Uh, they they might have run into each other at boarding school. Right. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, and, and we all know that probably young Bruce Wayne uh, probably kicked the shit out of Kane Marco at some point. Uh, just for being a dick yeah. at said boarding school. Right. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the, the stuff we, we go through to make it, it work when we're kids. That's why we have the enjoyment we have of the figures that are getting released now is because yeah. we don't have to work that hard anymore. Right. Uh, you know, a lot of what you were saying, it is more feasible to have a complete X-Men gold an X-Men blue team now. Uh, it is it is possible to have a, a Busiek collection of Avengers uh, and, and also your Stern set of Avengers mm -hmm. and also uh, your Bendis Avengers. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you can, you can make all those squads now with all the choices that we have now. Uh, and, and with regards even to the hunt, like, it's nice that we're in the year that we're in because we can just go to, like you mentioned, different websites. And if one yeah. site doesn't have it, maybe another site does. And now you do have that last missing piece right. so that now your squads match. Complete, yeah. Uh, you know, or now you finally have the last pieces and now you got your Brotherhood or your Masters of Evil mm -hmm. all together ready to bring it to your Avenger squad that have just been sitting yeah. there waiting. So, I don't know. I'm still waiting for them to do... Uh, while they've done newer versions of certain characters like Moon Knight, I'm still waiting for them to do original versions of certain characters like Moon Knight. Yeah. Uh, so, who knows? It's a good time to be a collector, though. Oh, totally. We have, we have tons of options. Yeah, I'm excited when they do like like when they have like hey we have like our 60s series and like the 70s. Right. So like you can have a full on like Luke Cage with a tiara. Mm -hmm. you know like you know the yellow the yellow blouse um oh yeah you know like 70s blade i oh, would man. i would ship that that would be fantastic right uh, like i think it, you know do like a, a 70s tony not like even a 70s iron man give me a 70s tony with like the sideburns and like you know oh, a, a bottle Ridiculous. of alcohol yeah mm -hmm. like i would Full on demon in a bottle. Yeah. Five o'clock yeah. shadow. And Tony. Thing, and I think that if. Oh, man. I think, That'd be great. Yeah. And the fact that, like, you look at the Sentinel thing, right? I mean, for it to even get okay, I think it had to reach, what, like 6,000? So, I mean, you know that there's, like, an audience there who would totally buy a demon in the bottle Tony. Like, it wouldn't even have to come with any Iron Man accessories. It could come with, like, a glass, no. a bottle of gin. Uh, oh, dude. You know? Uh, uh, a little, a little, uh, a vanity, a little tiny vanity that he can sit in front of, so he could like look at his like disheveled failure. Yeah, mess. you you could have oh, like man. you could have regular Dude. Tony, like 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 the happy drunk Tony, then the hungover Tony. Like right. I would be the first in line to give buy that. Give me different Iron Man drunken heads. Yeah. yeah. Give us just the heads. Don't give us an Iron Man head. Yeah. Give us just the Tony heads. Give me the different the Iron Man body. stages of desperation. Right. I would right. buy that. Tell me you wouldn't buy that. I'd I'd be all about it. If I it was like a twenty dollar, like yeah. No, no, you got to make it thirty thirty bucks. It has to come in. The packaging has to be in the shape of a gin bottle. <laughs> you got to open it up. Yeah, it's got to be Tony with the little vanity, just kind of sitting there in the plastic, just like yeah, uh, right with the where did it all go? It would wrong. be yeah. Oh, 
dude. I want them to do more supporting characters too. Like I would love to see um, like a Happy Hogan, you know, or like a, a you know, like a. I know they did. They kind of did a, a J. Jonah Jameson when they did. Um, oh fuck, uh, Chameleon. Like the, the it came with yeah. a J. Jonah. Yeah, head, it but came I would with be the Jonah all about head. like a J. Jonah or like a you know Robbie. You know, just so he can kind of. I can I can have Peter walking in on those two yelling at each other trying to sell some pictures in terms of it like they had the spider-man set so i could totally see them getting away with with doing like a robbie and a jameson under those sets and and, getting released right and uh, harry osborne harry osborne just being harry osborne yeah i mean waves in his hair right i mean yeah i mean that would be money they made a gwen stacy figure so there's no reason why they couldn't do you know like like that kind of kind of think uh because for because for me the thing that i've really enjoyed now that that what has really kind of because i did i didn't collect for a while you know marvel legends mm-hmm. kind of drew me back in and a lot of it was because of the different heads like pizza spider-man the fact that he could pull the mask up halfway or right. to have some figures where like miles morales the fact that i that he comes with a miles morales head so Right. I could kind of do some slice of life moments, like him just coming back from a day of crime fighting, like Spider Gwen. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. I think the alternate heads, like even with them, um, like with the with the Alex Ross figures that, that they did, the fact that you got your like regular Tony face and then two different Iron Man helmets. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I want more of more of like maybe it's just because I'm older and and I'm not just in for the action, but just kind of like the in between moments you know like yeah. i mean dude if yeah. they made it not may if they made it not may i would fucking buy two of those i like one of those she would, would be in she a box. would have to she would have to her accessory would have to be like a hospital bed yeah it yeah. would have to be a hospital bed or uh, yeah you and, and, then, and then then different heads you could have like you know the original aunt may and then you could have your ultimate aunt may and then you mm-hmm. have marissa tomei i should say she just gets younger i mean yeah. like you the, know she, she does get younger she goes from you know, OG Aunt May, I think, was, like, in her 60s. Yeah. For the most part. And then Ultimate Aunt May will say she was in her 40s. Right. And Marissa Tomei, like, yeah, I guess she's in her 40s, but Marissa Tomei doesn't look like she's in her 40s. No. I just she's, figured that yeah. she, that Aunt that, that Aunt Fantastic. May, she was, like, she was the happy accident of that family. That there is a big age right. difference between Aunt May and, and, you know, maybe her sister. Man, not according to Mark Miller. Oh God, what did he say? No, remember he wrote that comic Trouble that was about Aunt May and Peter's parents. Oh, that's had right. Had Dodson's on the art. Yeah. And it all ended up being that, like, I think the big twist was at the end that, like, you find out that Peter is May's anyway. And then Marvel decided that, like, no, this never happened. It's not a thing. Stupid. Yeah, it was dumb. Sometimes you know they're just there are just things that don't need to be fixed. Mm-hmm. Some things are just good on their own. I it's don't just, need I don't need Aunt May begins. I look. I'm always gonna think back to the Patton Oswalt bit where he's talking about Star Wars and the prequels. Yeah, and he's talking about <laughs> how his excitement was at a certain level, and every time he would find out more about said plot, his excitement would die a little bit more and more. <laughs> So it would just I mean, be like, hey, you know, we're doing the prequel, the very first Star Wars movie. Oh, yeah? Yeah, what's it about? Well, Darth Vader. Fuck yeah, I love Darth Vader. Darth Vader's awesome. Yeah, and we're going to find out where he came from. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're going to go to the <laughs> planet that he was from. Yeah, yeah, and we're going to meet him as a little kid. What? <laughs> yeah, I gotta we're going to meet that. him as a little kid, and we're going to find <laughs> out where he's, where he's from. Like. Oh well, okay. I don't, I don't know, man. But all right, I, I guess. Okay, okay. Well, hang on, hang on, because in the sequel, in in the second prequel, we're gonna go into Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Fuck yeah! Now we're talking, and and you're gonna find out his home planet. You're gonna meet this whole race of people like Boba Fett. Yeah, yeah. That sounds fucking cool. And we're gonna meet him as a little kid. <laughs> oh man, again. <laughs> Okay, I guess like it's it's a yeah. good bit, but it's and accurate. Essentially, yeah, and it's accurate. One hundred percent. Yeah, it's so memorable because it's so accurate for me. It's pretty yeah. funny. 
there's so. a there's an idea that I have that I want to do on this show as like a segment um, because I've noticed I've been doing this thing when I talk to people about movies where I where I just start off well this is how I would have done it and so it's basically yeah. me doing a pitch of how I thought the movie should have been and I feel like I would need to have you on that segment because I think you'd appreciate or at I least have some like constructive that. feedback yeah. for like yeah. this is what I would have done. Like, I'm always this thinking is about like, things like, like, they yeah. should have done. Right? Things like, that they shouldn't have done. Yeah, I do that things all... Things that were dumb and things that yeah. aren't dumb. And Dude, it's... so many ideas where I'm just like, why didn't they just do this? And I know I've had some good ideas because I've made people angry because they knew I was right. Right. I was like, right. fuck, why didn't they do that? Yeah, yeah I, I have, you know, movies that I love as much as I love, uh, I still have issues with. You know, there's something that I'll still go about, uh, you know, just kind of sit on my mind. And it might take a couple of hours. Sometimes it doesn't even hit me for a couple of days or even a couple of weeks. But when it does, I'm like, son of a bitch, now I can't unsee it. Like, I wish they would have done this and not this. And it's little little superficial choices. Uh, And there are some things that I think back too and i'm like nope that's about as perfect as it could be yeah so i feel that way about like a lot of the mcu for example Mm -hmm. Uh, i was watching civil war yesterday yeah as much as i love it there are things in it where i'm like man wish they'd done this right not this yeah um you know yeah it's i mean the mcu is great it's not perfect so there's you know i mean it's definitely i mean i've definitely have done that too where it's like well you know this is how i would have done it this is this is what i would like if this is especially when you know the grand scheme of things like okay if this is where they want to stick the landing like this is where they want their characters to be for this this is what i would have done right that would have kind of felt a bit more organic for the growth of the character or whatever i did i am like doing that all the time like just with like you know what bothers me i'll get this out of my system real quick dark knight rises yeah the uh-huh. mat the mask the explanation oh it keeps the pain in or some shit as if right, like right. the is is the pain contagious and that's why he's got to wear a mask like what i what they should have done and this would have been a beautiful tie into batman begins and a nice nod to venom is just why not have him be breathing in that crushed flower so his adrenaline yeah. is always up like it's the fight or flight response that would have been a nice right, little nod right. to the first movie you know i think that would have been cool yeah. to it being like you know like we're, we're reading too much into the mess that is the dark knight rises that's that's a whole another chat that i can yeah. have on a whole yeah. another day next episode about how many bad decisions were and look man I I always make an excuse for it. It's not the movie that he wanted to do. It's not the story he wanted to tell. Right. He wanted to tell his in his last story. He wanted to do. He did want to do No Man's Land, but he wanted to do it right. He yeah. wanted to do a gang war resulting in No Man's Land. Right. And it was going to be Joker versus Two Face destroying all of Gotham. That's what it was going to be. Things happen. R.I.P. Heath Ledger yeah. gave us a great performance, but he had to he had to shift. He still yeah. he wouldn't let go of not doing No Man's Land, so he still did it to some extent, but albeit less successfully. Yeah. Um, you know, and he brought in uh Bane, which fine. I mean, even comic wise, Bane was part of the story that caused the earthquake in No Man's Land to begin with. Right. But then he wasn't a factor in No Man's Land. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know. That's definitely a conversation we're going to have to have. We'll have to to do like a a movie review and what we would have done. So many things. Oh, yeah. So many things. And it's, it's infuriating that you got, you know, arguably the best rogues gallery in comics. And we still haven't seen people like Clayface. We still haven't seen killer croc really we haven't seen man bat we haven't seen batman's you know peak of physical human condition go up against things that are that should be out of his league but he still perseveres because he's fucking batman right you know um so it's that that stuff's a little frustrating oh yeah 
For so, sure, for sure. Like, I mean, you know, we'll see. We shall. I I would definitely love to cover like a like a, a Batman episode too. There's 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 just a lot that you and I can go into. Oh yeah, man. I so mean, this I, is the I, first step. Uh, our first step into a greater was it a bigger world? What's this quote from Star Wars? I'm butchering yes. it. The first steps into a larger world. Yeah, yeah. The first steps into subscribe to my podcast, motherfucker. That's just all. All this. Uh, there you go. <laughs> exactly. That's right. Um, That's right. We usually towards the tail end of the show, you know, we always kind of like to talk about um, like things that we're reading or what we're watching, what we're into. I know you kind of mentioned a few other uh, shows, but um, anything that, that that's really kind of tickling your interest right now, whether it's kind of shows you're watching with your with your kids or on your own. Um, I mean, a lot, man. <laughs> we're always watching a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I'm a, I'm a, a multifaceted person, as you know, mm-hmm. uh, and, and have a lot of interest in a lot of things. So I can be uh, very much a fanboy and go into detail about comics and runs here and there. Uh, and I can also talk about comic book movies, but more so just movies in general and shows and whatnot. Um, so, I mean, it's a lot of different things. I've been rewatching the back half of Rick and Morty season four, uh, those, those most recent five episodes, another episode we could Um, do. That's, that stuff is great. And it's never disappointing. Uh, we just finished, uh, the wife and I just finished Hannibal, uh, yesterday. Yeah. Uh, You told me about that. That's going to add that to the list. Three seasons of perfection. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, I, I've been a fan of those books. I look, as I was telling Diana while watching it, uh, I read Red Dragon uh, at the age of eighteen. Uh, one of the first things I read right after I graduated high school. Um, so it's it's one of those books I'll never forget. I remember being really into the book, and then when I finally got around to watching Manhunter, and then later on Red Dragon. Just like this sucks like yeah. why can't it be good like the book like right. the book gives you the blueprint that you need to follow yeah uh, and the show hannibal takes the best parts of that book and expands it into a, a three season show that's cool and takes parts from other later hannibal books and also weaves them in there seamlessly yeah so as a fan of that whole series Top notch stuff. Now, um, here's what I want to know because this is usually what keeps me from jumping on shows is that I know that it was um, canceled before its time. So the ending, I mean, is it like a. No, like, it's satisfactory. It is. You're fine. All right. Okay. Because I don't want to be like, wait, you know, Will Graham, don't touch that to be continued. And then, like, there's no more. It, It's, it's open ended enough that you know, like, huh, okay. It, it closes things off, but also leaves things open okay. for potential. And with as popular as it's been, that's been one of those things. It's been getting a you know a bit of buzz. I mean, all the actors are free and clear to come back and do more a stuff. Lot, a lot of shows are being saved. Do I mean so. Netflix? I mean, you look at Brooklyn Nine Nine. Like NBC saved that show when it got canceled by Fox. Uh, when mm-hmm. Fox canceled Lucifer, like Netflix got that show. Like I mean, Netflix it's so saved that. Yep. So I mean, it's um. Yeah, it's. I think if there's enough buzz, it could totally get revived, and I and I hope it does because I have not heard a single bad thing about Hannibal. Yeah, it's it's more than anything else. Every time we're watching it, it's always one of those things where we stop at some point in an episode, look at each other, and we're like, "How the fuck did this air on NBC?" <laughs> like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, right. it's. It, there are times where in that show they don't, but you could swear that someone's like motherfucker. Like you could swear that there's an f bomb that had been yeah. slipped or something. No, no, totally not. Like it's wow. fine. But then there are other things where it's like this is pretty fucking graphic. Like yeah, I didn't expect this person to get murdered with that level of severity. It, well, yeah, because I mean good. the way I've heard, I mean it sounds like I mean that could have been like an HBO. It could have been an HBO show, and it would have 
fit in perfectly. But if it was an HBO show, each season would have been 10 episodes. Right. And there would have been a year and a half to two years between each season. So glad that uh, didn't, glad didn't that didn't happen. Right. Uh, I, I don't get me wrong. I enjoy my HBO shows, but sometimes it's worth the wait. And other times you get like a Westworld season three. So, yeah. Something else I yeah. definitely want, would want to talk to you about because I, I I've heard very mixed things about Westworld. It's okay. Three. It's 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 all right. It's not. It just it's. It seems like they want to do too many different things, and nobody's chosen it a firm direction to go in. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So we just finished Hannibal, and we're about to start rewatching. For me, it'll be rewatching every episode. But for Diana, she's missed the first season and a half of a show called Kingdom. It's about Kingdom. MMA fighters. Oh, uh, okay. Starts Crossbones. Yes. AKA Frank Grillo, mm-hmm. who, even before he was Crossbones, I I'm a fan of that dude. Yeah. And just about everything I've seen him in, uh, notably the second Purge movie. Mm-hmm. Right. The yeah. Purge movie, uh, which those movies also fucking great those movies are fantastic first one's kind of garbage compared to the rest of them which i think are far better i think they're probably perfecting it as they went working on yeah, the kinks but the purge 2 for all intents and purposes it's basically punisher in a purge it's awesome oh that's like, cool yeah like his character everybody's trying to hide on purge night he goes out and he's actively trying to fuck shit up it's devastating um yeah, those movies are great, uh, especially two and three. So he's in a show called Kingdom, and it was it it ran for forty episodes on a show that was on on a channel that was a direct TV exclusive. Mm-hmm. So only like nine people watched, including myself. <laughs> uh, but it it's way better than it has any right to be about MMA. Okay. And Frank Grillo is. Phen- phenomenal in it yeah but amongst some other actors too including nick jonas who surprisingly can act his ass off yeah who was it uh yeah. he was in the second jumanji movie wasn't he yeah he, yeah, was, he was good the, he, oh, no, the, he was in the first jumanji, jumanji. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah 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 he, he was good in those rock jumanji yeah he's yeah. A, he's enjoyable in it yeah uh he's even better in kingdom all right cool i'll add that to the list um Speaking of HBO shows, the show that Angela and I um, just got into uh, is a cartoon called Close Enough. I haven't watched it yet, but I know exactly which one you're talking about. It's it's great because it's it's basically I don't know if you ever watched regular show. It's it's from uh-huh. the same creator, um, and this kind of feels like it's like a spiritual sequel. Like I would say, if regular show would be a show about being in your twenties, Close Enough is like a show about being in your like in your 30s and like having kids and you know oh, just coming to terms with being like like okay i really wasn't an adult in my 20s i'm really gonna try to give my best effort in my 30s you know and it's like having a kid but still having misadventures and uh, and i always love that um just these crazy things that happen like just to give an example like it's it's i mean yeah, set you know like in modern day but you know at one point they go to a club where they find out that if you're over the age of 30, like, they'll kill you at this club. Like, it's just, it's like, it is a cartoon, but it's hilarious. Right. So huh. they'll be like, wait, uh, let me see your ID, bro. Oh, yes, thanks for asking. Wait, born in 82, he's got to go. <laughs> like, it's, it's just, wow. it's it's great. Like, it's weird shit like that where, like. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, like. That sounds like, hilarious. Like, or, like, at some point they'll, like. Yeah, like there's like monsters and magic, you know, and trying to figure out how you're going to pay taxes. It's great. Well, there's there's a show that's on Hulu from Justin Roiland. So the other co-creator of Rick mm-hmm. and Morty. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> and it's called Solar Opposites. Yes. It's okay. It's it's all right. Me and Drake watched all of it. It was kind of funny. But yeah. there's a subplot that doesn't get introduced to like three or four episodes in. And it just stays a subplot. And then it gets a whole episode to itself almost near the end. And it's worth it just for that. Okay, cool. That one episode that it gets near the end, it was pretty funny. Because when it gets that episode, then the aliens become the subplot in that episode. 
So, like, you kind of see what the aliens are doing in various background yeah. scenes. Like, they're in the background having their own adventure. So you almost have to watch the episode more than once to figure out what happened with them. That's cool. Versus, yeah, it's pretty funny. That's awesome. Uh, All right. Yeah, it's it's worth it's worth checking out at least just for that. I will so. add that to the list. Uh, Word. Yeah, because I'm always because I, I know that's that's a great thing about entertainment right now. That it's like mm-hmm. picking up just a single show or a movie is just like a a drop from the ocean. There's like just so many good yeah. things out there. So uh, I will definitely check that out. Um, and uh, you know, for those who are listening, you all know the drill. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, drop us some love on iTunes. Um, and as we always like to say to conclude the show, enjoy your issues. 